the ring. The counterpunch. All right, back at y'all with another radio call. Got your boy, Love One to Hate One, and EBTV Sports. We in the building, and we ain't cooked in a minute, so you know we got some fire ready for you. We got a good fight coming up between Francis Nagano versus Tyson Fury. Now, this fight right here, now I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Big Francis. Now this fight right here is going to be something else, y'all. Because even though it's not a pro fight, yes, I want to see Tyson Fury fight ass, get his ass in there with Usyk. But we all know what's going on with this fight. It's a big payday for Tyson Fury and Francis. So, from that sense, you got to respect it. However, it's not going to do anything legacy-wise for Tyson Fury. And Tyson Fury... Let's keep in mind, you guys, he has a lot to lose here if he get, somehow gets stopped in this fight. And Francis, he has nothing to lose and everything to gain. So, that's what makes this fight so interesting. But, let's go ahead and discuss the fight for a second. I personally feel like, even though on paper it should be an easy fight for Tyson Fury, Big Francis do got some real power over there. So we can't underestimate that. But I would like to know do Francis hit harder or as hard as Deontay Wilder. I don't think he hit harder. But as hard, maybe. And I know a lot of people, and I also want to know your thoughts on that, EBT. Yeah. But, man. Of course I got Tyson Fury, but it's still interesting. And I still want to know. Can Big Francis tag his ass? Or can he knock him out? Another thing I want to say, a lot of people may not know this. A lot of people got to understand this. He has boxed before. It just wasn't on a pro level. So we got to take that into consideration as well. But, as I said before, I think it's going to be a good fight. Even though I don't want to see it. It's like I got mixed thoughts. It's like, I want to see it. But then again, I don't want to see it. And I don't know if that even makes sense, but it kind of makes sense because we want to see the undisputed fight. Now, I know I'm all over the place, but my final thoughts is I got Tyson Fury winning this fight by a decision. Maybe a late stoppage if Francis get tired or whatever. But it won't shock me if Tyson Fury got hurt because we've seen Tyson Fury go down multiple times. Not just against Deontay Wilder. He got put down by Steve Cunningham. So, it's going to be some shit in this fight. Like I said, I still want to see it. And that's my final thoughts. Talk to you, boy, BC. Yeah, man. Uh, man like, like I said, this is an interesting fight. I don't know. If it, it, of course, it don't make. It's gonna be a good money grab, but it don't really make more sense. You know, it's kind of like why, why, why is Tyson Fury doing this? But right. I will say this, man. But Tyson Fury's gonna destroy him. But if Francis does win, it will be by by a KO or a TKO. Um, yep. There's no way Francis is gonna outbox him for no twelve rounds. Um, but hey, there are there is power. Is it as much as Deontay Wilder? I don't think so, because you gotta understand, Deontay, Deontay Wilder was in MMA or UFC. It would be almost unfair because that's pure knuckle hitting up on these guys, and he already hit hard with the gloves on. Yeah, that's it a great be, point. He would be unstoppable in UFC, bro. Uh, yep. Wilder, Wilder wouldn't even need nothing else. You catch that thing by the knuckle, man. He would be more deadly than Francis and Gano without gloves. So I think he ain't got power like Wilder, but he still does have power. Right. And yeah. speed is questionable. You don't know how good his defense is. And plus, he got to go in there for. I don't know if it's going to be. Is he, it may seem like it's an exhibition. Is it an exhibition? I'm not, that's a good question. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's an eight rounder. 
Let me check. I'll check yeah, while yeah. you're speaking. I'll check right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to say, if it is a 12 rounder, then that's even worse for him. Right. Because that means he got to swing his arm and box for 12 rounds. He ain't mm-hmm. used to doing that. He ain't used to doing him and May stuff for 12 rounds. So right. it's going to be another Mayweather McGregor type thing. You know, I think uh, Fury's just getting him down. He'll stop him in the later rounds. Um, but, you know, I mean, I don't know why Fury is really doing this. I'm just a good money grab. You know, people will buy it. But, man, we, we would love C. Fury. I would love C. Fury doing something else. But I will say this. If Francis Ngannou does win, that would be the most hilarious thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, that would make my whole year. And I like Tyson Fury. Yeah. But that'd just be hilarious, man. And th- th- I mean, it would be so. Because that means he, his friends is in Ghana, but he be, I mean, number one heavyweight in the world. That's one thing you got to ask yourself. Um, I think, hey, he's going to be champion, if I'm not mistaken, right? So he yeah, might as well. be champion in both? Yeah, if he, if he beats Tyson Fury. No, he, he's still a champion? I thought he wasn't. I thought he was done with the UFC, I mean. Well, I don't know. I know he, he got some belts in UFC before, right? Oh yeah, of course, hell yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He, he'd be a, the first. I mean, first boxing UFC champion. You know, that'd be crazy. That'd be super you know? crazy, right there. But that'd here's be, the thing. Yeah. I, I say this, and like I said, you know, I don't want to sidetrack, but mm-hmm. I say this right here. What's up? He has a better chance of beating Fury than he does Wilder. I could agree with that. <laughs> yeah. And that, that, that's 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 for real because if you, if you took a, a right from Wilder, you wouldn't get up. Yeah, That'd at, be it. at least with Tyson Fury, you know Tyson Fury don't hit that hard. I just felt like it was yeah. um like with Deontay Wilder, I felt like it was a stamina, and yeah. the, he he knew how to tire Wilder out mentally and physically. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. So we got to give him that. But I want to play really? devil. Go ahead, go ahead. My bad. Oh no, no I, was, I was just learning about that. You gonna lose? So don't don't go back and get a whole bunch of money on Francis. I don't know, but see, you know, what somebody, yeah, what somebody would do. I don't know. It's not telling me how many rounds it is right now, but okay, yeah. let's just assume to be fair and meet in the middle. I would say most likely eight. I don't feel like they would do what the hold up. Now they gave Conor McGregor twelve rounds, right? Twelve. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. it might just be a twelve. We never know, but. We will make an update video on this once we find out. I will say that though, cause I feel like it's a decent matchup. But let me ask you this, and I feel like this is another good point that I want to make to you. Um, but okay, to be fair, Deontay Wilder and Francis, I don't feel like they'll ever fight in the UFC though. But like you said, it won't even be fair. But what if Deontay Wilder, I mean, um, what if um, Francis what if he comes in the fight against Tyson Fury and may be able to hit close as Deontay Wilder? Because we know Deontay Wilder does hit harder, but what if it's close? To be fair, we never seen Francis have to translate his power on that stage. We've seen Wilder have that chance to do that. So it's, it kind of go both ways in a sense, even though we would have to assume that Deontay Wilder still has more power, clearly. But... Francis never got that chance. So what if he comes in this fight and he just knocks out Fury in the first round? Would we kind of change yeah, our he, mind? Go ahead. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's a good point. That, that yeah. but, you know, yeah. You understand. yeah. You, it only gets the fact, Obviously, you only, you only the, the further down you go, the higher the higher power level you would have. You know, because you get the boxing, you got the hand wraps on. That's true. And that's uh, true. you know. All the the, the the Nevada State Commission rules on that stuff. Right, right. Yeah, that's true. You know, that, that type of stuff. So you're only going to get more padding on the gloves, but he ain't got no type of water power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we would have to assume Wilder, that. If that man fought in UFC, he wouldn't have to train at all. Well, he would still have to train because you got to understand if they get Deontay Wilder on that floor, before he lands the right hand. Don't get me wrong. If they can't get him on the floor before he lands that right hand, it's over. It's done. Yeah, he's six seven too. You he's think about that too. Yeah, but see, he, him being six seven, like let's say he just fought a John Jones. I feel like John Jones would try to go to his legs. If you tag Deontay Wilder's yeah. legs, you know it's a little tricky stuff you yeah. can do. But your point still, your point still stands because I really feel like Deontay Wilder really could knock out them and everybody in the UFC with no gloves on. This is just too yeah. much. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, 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 I, like I said, he fought uh, John Jones. He he probably need like you know get familiar with UFC because them leg kicks that could, that could be a big problem. That could be a big problem. Yeah, kicks. Yeah. But if he can just hold out with that right hand. It, it, yeah. It, man. With them gloves on. Them UFC gloves. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, one thing I will say about this fight is. It's gonna get Tyson Fury a lot more fans and a lot of people a lot of more people out here especially gonna know who he is. It's kinda like a Mayweather and Conor McGregor or a similar type of move. Yeah, I can't really say that wholeheartedly, even though I still have a point with that. I'm not gonna say it wholeheartedly because I do feel like Mayweather was, you know, kinda at the end of his career when that happened. Even though you could say the same thing with Tyson Fury, but Tyson Fury, oh my God, man, I don't know what to say about Tyson Fury, man. Him and that undisputed, that undisputed mess that's going on, man. See, if he would have just beat Usyk, which I feel like he may feel he probably can't do it, but if he beats Usyk, then nobody wouldn't care about him fighting Francis. But that's my final thoughts on this. Any more thoughts on this, EBT? I don't feel um I think he's I won't say duck even though that's a possibility I will say avoid you know maybe just okay. I don't know may, I feel like he wants Usyk to look bad keep in mind Usyk isn't a spring chicken neither he has a lot of mileage on him in his career he's been in a lot of fights um maybe he wants to age Usyk a little bit that's possible but I don't know I can't really say man and who knows man if he fights him after Francis assuming he wins then I guess we can't really say nothing but if he tries to take another fight or because I was hearing he was gonna fight John Jones if he tries to do something like that then it's gonna be some real BS going on with Fury man and he gonna lose a lot of respect yeah he, he gonna lose a lot of respect he gonna lose a lot of respect and a lot of people gonna say you know he ain't really beat nobody except a older Klitschko and a Deontay Wilder who a lot of people feel like a lot of people could beat Wilder if you just find a way to avoid that right hand so it's gonna be major questions but yeah, yeah. but that's my final thoughts on it I mean I ain't got more I ain't got no thoughts on it but I'm saying I'm rooting for uh, Francis though man me too. And I like Fury. I'm not even a Fury hater, but I just I would love to see that upset. That would be it would be crazy. The craziest thing. Yeah. And funny. And funny that you tried to play around and get a quick payday and got sparked. <laughs> it could happen, man. It could definitely one, one punch. Right. Hey, that's that's why we love boxing. That's why we love boxing. Cause that yeah. Those type of things happen all the time. But okay, yeah. And yeah, we done with it. That's fifteen.